Blessings, Bishop More Catholic. I was recently studying about the early church Christians, and in particular, the first few century Christian martyrs. And I discovered something so fascinating that I would love to share with you all today as we do these video series on the sacrifice of the Holy Mass. Now we actually know quite a bit about the trials of the early church martyrs because the Roman judicial system had stenographers who dictated verbatim the questions asked and the responses of the early church Christians. And the early church Christians responses, um, I'm sure infuriated the Romans because they're not what you would expect. And in fact, many of the Christians didn't even bother to fully answer the questions. Instead, the responses they gave were phrases such as, peace be with you, thanks be to God, we lift up our hearts. Those phrases should sound familiar because literally they're the phrases we use as the responses in mass. In fact, there's an early church martyr named St. Pianius, and we have his dictation of his responses and there's a whole section where literally he quotes almost verbatim the Eucharistic prayer that we use from today's Mass. So these details tell us a few things. One, that the early church Christians celebrated Mass that is strikingly similar to the Mass that we celebrate today with the same responses. Two, that the early church martyrs saw their martyrdom as related to the sacrifice of the Mass. It was as if to say, Lord, you sacrificed yourself for me, and I am giving my life to you now. It was them uniting their sacrifice with that of the Lord. So what do we have to learn from all of this? First, the thing is that we cannot forget that the Holy Mass is a sacrifice. It's us present once again at that sacrifice that took place 2,000 years ago when Christ gave it all for each one of us. And something must happen in our hearts. We must respond to that offering of love. Now, many of us may not offer the Lord the sacrifice of our own life for martyrdom, but each of us have something to offer Him. And as that basket goes around the pews at Sunday Mass, perhaps we can place in there our daily struggles, our inconveniences, our difficult relationships, whatever suffering and challenge that each one of us are going through in our life, we can offer it to the Lord and unite it to His sacrifice, trusting that He will make a powerful prayer come from our sacrifice, just as the blood of the martyrs became the seed of the church, that our offering can in somehow, some way, advance the kingdom of our Lord. May the Lord bless you.